My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. This is a short video on confidence tips. So training people to be more confident is one of the things that I do. And often people ask me, one of my, my top tips? So here they are, free on YouTube. So the first tip is that confidence is a behavior, not a feeling. Sometimes when I work with people, they're comparing their internal state, their feeling of, say, anxiety, with someone's externally, how they're coming across, who may look confident. Um, the critical thing is not to compare your internal state with how other people look externally. Often I'm really nervous when I do training, for example, but I'm holding myself together physically on the outside. So if we look at confidence as simply a behavior, then it's not about being a, having the label as a confident or an unconfident person, but it's about simply trying on a new behavior. Second tip is to use your body to seem and be more confident. So uh, our body dictates how we feel and how other people feel about us. And by relaxing, by breathing deeply in the belly, by feeling your feet on the ground, uh, by speaking with a low voice and a lower in, in, in toning lower at the end of sentences, by gesturing with the palm down, you'll get that sense of feeling more confident. Often when people don't feel confident, they kind of get wobbly, they lose their structure and they come up, they breathe up, yeah? So ah, breathing down, allowing your body, your muscles to relax as much as possible, letting your belly relax. I'll link to a video on centering if you want more of that. The sense of expanding in all directions is also important. Physically, some quick wins if you've got a situation like a speech you need to be confident for. Uh, obviously, don't take too many stimulants, uh, ca caffeine, for example, smoking. Um, you can splash water on your face. Cold, if you immerse the face just briefly in cold water, it's an evolutionary in, uh, in, impulse which will, will reduce your blood pressure. Another one is if you stamp your feet, push your palms together. If you're starting to feel a bit wobbly, pushing on the floor on your hands, that will give you a much more solid sense of yourself, which again will help you feel confident help you behave confidently. Tip number three, watch your self-talk. So many people are quite careless in the things they tell themselves. So throughout the day they'll say, you're not good enough, you're not gonna be able to do it, everyone's gonna laugh at you. And that kind of self-talk is gonna be really destructive. So the test I have is this, would you tell a friend the things you're telling yourself? You know? So being aware of what you're telling yourself and just saying, is that something I'd tell a friend? If it's not, then don't tell it to yourself positive self-talk. Number four, the self-images, the uh, mental pictures we create are very powerful. So again, not being careless with that, but creating positive, constructive images which support what you want to do. So if you're lying in bed at wake at night, worrying about something for the next day that you don't have so much confidence for, instead create an image of you doing it really well, an image of yourself being confident. By creating the image in your head first, your behavior will then start to change. Number five, cognitive reframing. So um, as well as self-talk, it's the framing, the way we hold a particular event can make us more nervous or more confident. So if you're telling yourself, oh, it's the end of the world, if I get this wrong, if you're living in that kind of story, that kind of a narrative around an event, of course it'll be difficult to be confident. So one thing you can do, it's a big subject, but one thing you can do to shift it is just to ask yourself around your thinking, is that true? Would it really be true that it's the end of the world or is that what we call a thinking error? You know? The classic, what's the worst that can happen, I actually think is still quite useful. So again, it is, it's a big area and there's lots of ways to reframe how you view the world and outside help can really help with that. But uh, just asking, is it true, is, is a good place to start. My last tip is kind of an unusual one and that is this, know that you're going to die. Really get it emotionally, deeply, that you're gonna die. Once you have that, you might as well get on with it. Uh, it creates a sense of confidence and ability to do things when you know that your time is limited. So I wish you well with confidence. Uh, if you wanna, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll respond to all of them. Um, if you're interested in confidence training one-on-one -on -one or for groups, then give me a call. It's mark at integrationtraining.k.uk and the website's below. Thank you.